Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. We're right about Christmas, December 1726. And let's see, let's, for winter time, so we don't need folks assigned to fish that cannot fish. Is there anybody else assigned that doesn't need to be? The new forestry still has four trees left to remove. Actually, yeah, one, two, three, and a bunch of downed ones. So, probably still need these guys. Uh, we don't have, we can store up to 12 logs and we don't have any, so there's plenty of work for them yet to do. So they're fine. Anybody else that doesn't need to be assigned out here anymore? Um, probably is time to put somebody back into here though, because our new farm needs to get a manager. Boy, that was quick. <laughs> she wanted that job. And need to get a plow assigned, or ordered. Need two adult oxen. Okay. So you guys get to become ox. And where'd you go? Over there. And order plow. Should see over here. One more order in queue. Doesn't say what. Probably will once there's a person assigned to the job. So that one's sitting and waiting. Then what? We need to assign the fields over there. Um... There's no leather left, though we did ask for some cows to be slaughtered, and it looks like that has happened. Yes, so the slaughtering is done. You can go away. You can be hired over here, though, and you are actually kind of out of a job at the moment because there's, no, there's nothing available there, though if I toss you out and try to get you back in later, I might forget to. So let's make those shoes. How many shoes are available? Is that something that shows up in this list? Really doesn't because they'll already be at the markets and the market, what's in the markets do not show up in the list. No shoes there and no shoes there and right here, no shoes there. So there's no shoes in town at all. So as soon as someone jumps into this job and makes some leather, she will be immediately busy. So that's fine. Um, oil. Sunflower oil. Nobody's employed and sunflower 7.92. So let's get that going. And get the oil going, which will be sold at the booth. Same booth. So we do have some. Not much. We have some. Uh, next one is over here. Sunflower flower oil. Oh, so are we storing it over here? We are. Sunflower oil. Not much though. I'm not seeing any. So where did you go to get yours? Show path. You're right there. You're sitting down. You have oil reserved, but you're not going to go get it. Okay. And then here. So yeah. Here. All right. So that's, we didn't run out. 438 town treasury. I'm not really seeing anything else that would need to be turned off. Nails, after all this building, um, in stock, warehouse. Nails, 400 out of 500. And Smithy, none. So we have managed to work through all of those nails, and we have only 400 left. We had 1,400. Let's put somebody back into the Smithy and get that going. Uh, thatch, after all this time. So, well, we still have 40 there. And we still have none over here. 40 thatch. We have a lot of houses we're going to want to get going. Let's get thatch going for a little while. While we're in winter time. Otherwise, we want to get folks just building and building and building. So, I think that's pretty much the order we want. Though, a second house over there might not be a bad idea. How's our supplies for our new cattle farm? We have only four cows over there. We have plenty over here. This one still has plenty. Still have it in stock. This farm has that the manager doesn't bring anything over here though we don't have anything you know, an actual plow going yet nobody's in here either plow one out of two animals oh somebody went to go get an animal right yep one's there and then he stopped working okay not critical that we get a plow this year. The, all the f fields are 100%. Are, uh, 
In fact, it might be nice not to. Let's do that. Not going to finish that until these get planted. That's one step we don't have to deal with because the fields are all 100%. No point waiting for the plowing to get done, whereas these fields are a lot rougher. So I'm going to keep it at one speed so by the end of February we can definitely have the new plan going for the fields. You, I want to do just sunflower and hemp, and I think that works out okay. Sunflower, we got a manager now, so let's kick this out to three. Sunflower first. That takes up 100% of the sunflower, of the red nutrient, kind of. You know, by the books it does, but in reality it doesn't. We only get about 70% at most of our growth bar ever accomplished on a field. So if I were to do that and click over, well, it doesn't show me, but when your growth goes across, it always ends right about here. We get 50 to 75, I don't think I've ever seen as much as 75. So we're not going to use 100, we're going to use 70. That leaves 30. So back to farm field one. If there's truly 70 left, and we're going to plow it. Boy, it's been a while since I've played this thing daily. What did the plow add? I have 18% in my mind. Is that correct? Let's say 15. So 30 is going to be back up to 45. Hemp needs what? Hemp requires only 10. So we could easily do hemp there. We don't need any green, though sunflowers use up half the green. And it used up 30% of the blue, though 70% of 30%. Oh, that hurts. Um, it'll use up 20. So there's 10 left. We're going to add 15. There's 25. And hemp, no. It's going to use 20%. We have 80 left. So there's plenty. Yep. So potato and hemp, or sunflower and hemp should work well than a fallow and with the plowing and even though the the decreased fallow that's the only thing that's up in the air now i don't know how far it was decreased the as far as how much the fallow reinvigorates the soil so i'm going to say we're going sunflower hemp fallow and we'll just rotate those through and that's all that's going to happen over here all the sunflowers coming out of here all the hemp's coming out of here which is a whole lot more than we've got right now so we should always have three, always have two fields of sunflower, two fields of hemp, and two fallows building up for the, the next cycle going on over here. So let's do that one. And then, well, to make it easy, what was that? That was a well right there. Let's just double up on it. So sunflower and then hemp and then fallow. And over here is going to be hemp, fallow, sunflower. And then we're going to be fallow sunflower hemp, right? Fallow sunflower hemp, yep. And fallow, and then sunflower hemp. All right, so that should cycle through, leaving enough nutrients for everything, all you know, year after year. So that's done. Um, need to activate these. Oh, I hate when I get halfway through the year and realized we didn't click the checkbox. Okay, so I had grabbed the fields out of here in between episodes and reassigned everything here. So field four would be one, two, three, four. That should be four right there if I got it right. And there it is, five and six. So clockwise and starting at the, well, I was starting in the top corner, but I don't really have a top corner here. So, oh, that's something else I didn't tell you. I went through and, first of all, I had three fields over here and they were crooked. And the sort of thing you couldn't really tell until you laid everything else out. And I kind of stared at this while and went, oh man. I got thinking, as long as I leave a little gap here for a cart to get up into the forest, if that's necessary, or a pathway that shoots across here eventually and comes down, autosave, then I could put as many fields in here as I want. It's just really a matter of distance between the farm and the entrance, but the entrance wasn't going to be all that far, so I decided to go ahead and get squeeze four in here instead of three, which allowed me to do my, my cycle here of threes, and you know, six fields just works out better that way. So we get four across the top instead of three, and then the two in the ends, and that actually looks pretty good. This was these two good solid pathways through here. I think they came out pretty good. So over here, so we're pulling out hemp and sunflower over here. And we have to deal with the current nutrients to figure out what to, to 
put back in. So it's going to be basically wheat, potato, hemp, fallow. But I've got to be careful how I lay those out based on what is already here. So time to start thinking and doing math, which is why I'm running on slow over there. But I guess I can keep the speed up a little bit. I'm half, well, I'm a third of the way done. This is going to take twice as long as the other one. Um, otherwise, work on some houses and then eventually a job for over there for firewood off in that direction. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, nothing that I'm concerned about. I don't think so. Not until we get to the end of February. All right, so we had one field that went fallow completely. Let's pull out of that. Field five right here was fallow. What is in that field right now? We've got all hundreds. All right, so you can be the start of the pattern. You are wheat, and then you are potato, and then you are hemp, and then you are fallow. All right, that should come out pretty well. It always has in the past. Um, it, and even with the plowings in there, we didn't need the full fallow to re restore it. So I'm hoping that that is what the fallow has been reduced to to make this pattern still work, plus the plowings in between everything. I think that will work fine. Now let's refresh memory. This one's obviously a fallow and it needs to stay that way. So fallow and then potato. Yep, that one's already correct. So it'd be nice to get two fallows going. What's our next worst one? Right down here is our next worst one. So let's just do that. Your fallow uh, right there. Then you are wheat and potato and you are hemp. So we're going to follow out that one and that one, bring us as close to back to zero again as we can. So there's no more that we can start with fallow if we're going to keep this pattern going. Although that's four, not three. How do we make a cycle of four repeat well? We don't. Hmm. Let's get this down where you guys can watch what's happening out here. Uh, we're building houses. Let's go over here. So it's not so boring while I'm spending all my time staring at this. You guys can kind of watch the watch the town there. Um, well, let's go to the top. And let's... I need to refresh my mind. So, potato uses the least... Actually, I'm doing hemp on all these, aren't I? Could it be wheat? And potato over there. Although, the more hemp we do, the more people we can keep employed making clothes. That sounds good, but clothes we can't sell to anybody else. We're eventually going to get overloaded in clothes. Though we'll just keep building more houses. Maybe that won't happen. The next farms then won't deal with hemp at all. If we do a third farm out here somewhere. Okay, we'll, we'll try this. We'll bring the hemp into the cycle. Um, so wheat, 50, so 50, 60, potato, 40, 30. And then hemp can be, I threw that in there because none of these really use blue. and That's all that hemp really uses. So it just made sense to toss that in there. Um, otherwise, though, we could get more wheat or more potatoes out of it. Let's think about that. Two of them cycling the four. And the other four cycling the three. So if we leave 50% of the red... And but we're only going to use at most 40% of that. That's at most, that's 80%. So 40, let's say 37. And we're going to add in about 15, so 47, 53. And then we're going to do potato. So only about 30 of that's going to come out. So 53 down to 23. And then we're going to, then we're going to do another at least 15 from the plow. So 33, 38. That gives us another potato. So we could wheat, potato, potato, fallow on the red. So wheat, potato, potato, fallow. Over here, can we do the same thing with the green? So 60, we're going to leave 40. Actually, we're not going to use 60. We're going to use about 45. 40? 40 is 60%. So we'll say 45. And if 15 is what the plow puts back in, I, th I do think it's 18, but we'll say 15. We'll stay conservative. Um, I said 35, so we're back up to 50 again. And then we're going to do two potatoes. So 50, we'll use, say, 25 of this. So 50 drops to 25. Add another 15 is 40. There's an, Yeah, there's plenty for both. So we could do wheat, potato, potato, fallow on the other ones. Okay. So where do we start the cycle, though? 
That's the big question. Um, I guess I need to see this again. Where are we at? We're at the beginning of February. So we're going to have to slow down soon. And I'm not watching anything but right there and, and trying to do math. So am I missing anything? You know, you guys may have seen it, but I haven't. I've seen nothing but that square for the last several minutes. So everything looking good out here. You're a house. You're going in. Uh, did we... I, that bar looks a little bit bigger, but nobody's actually assigned to it. Same thing here. Okay, so just working on this one right now. Which means a family could be here and ready to go by the time this pops. Um, no, don't need to assign a worker because there's no oxen. Okay. And we're still doing fine over here. Yeah. Chickens, 26 out of 25. Chicken meat. Eggs are still going crazy out there. Yeah, we're... We're doing fine. Okay. Any reason not to take that up to 30? We got plenty of meat out there. May as well. We got plenty of eggs out there. Let's go ahead and max out on that. And so when this whole series is done, you may have already left comments from episodes before, but again, I'm recording all these in the same day. But if there are ways to move chickens from one coop to another, then let me know. I don't know how to do that. There's no obvious grab these chickens and move them over. Unless it's these right here, these eggs will be transferred over. You know, we'll suddenly see these empty and, and the next one fill up, but I'm not sure. So I'll wait till after this little series is done and look at all the, the notes. And then when we get into update six, I'll be able to, to correct anything that I did wrong. Uh, good. House. No, this one in. Uh, let's let's get, take it down to speed one. We're halfway into February. And let's set this up for firewood. And this one will be probably only firewood. These are our choices right now. There's just no reason to bring any of these other things over here. So, yeah, firewood. So you, we can make 100. Let's take you into a guy only so you can use carts. So there and no laborers. And turn you on. Assuming that, that, what did I want? We decided not to do this one yet. So it's just these guys, right? Oh, slaughter. So let's make sure this is all done. You, you've already gotten everything out of here and you have processed everything out of here. You're done. You are busy working. Good. So that whole little cycle is done. Yeah, when we get more cattle over here, we can get cows constantly moving through and making leather. That's going to be a lot better. Right now, we just need to turn on for once in a while. But we need a guy over here and we need to bring in 100 firewood. We don't. Let's bring in 50 firewood. Whatever happened to this one over here? Asked for 100. We finally, what, a year? Maybe a year and a half? We started in 26, so one year later, we managed to get 27 firewood over here. Let's take you down to 50 as well. And then firewood was kind of heading over here. Wheat is down to that now. So firewood, we're going to take you down to, we'll stop you at 4. That's about all that we seem to be able to handle and still be able to keep up with the wheat. Okay, that's still fine. Uh, supplies are good here. You've got a little bit of wheat in stock. And you've got some wheat in stock. Okay. So, middle of February, <clears throat> back to the farm. So, we're going with wheat, potato, potato, fallow. Just a matter of which field gets what. What we're in the cycle. So, 61. I'm pretty sure we can be potato, potato, fallow, and wheat. There's enough red there to pull that off. Unfortunately, we're never going to use the blue in these. That's the downside. The upside is that we're going to get more potatoes, more food, and potatoes trading. And then there'll be more wheat popping into these. No, there won't. There'll be the same amount of randomness for the wheat coming in. And at the way it's going, we don't have anything where we can start with the wheat, unfortunately, unless we just reverse the cycle. We could do something like that. In fact, this is probably the one to do it. You're going to be wheat up here, potato, uh, fallow, and potato. We'll mix this up a little bit so we get a wheat first. Otherwise, we're not looking at any wheat other than this one over here. That one was full nutrients. We are able to get a real cycle in there. Okay, so after that, we're going to be potato, potato, fallow, and wheat. Okay. This guy, we're going to be, it's even less, 49, 51, what is our other one? You're fallowed, 
and you're followed. I see we've got hemp in those four. Those are no we don't. This one is wild card. So do we leave the hemp in these three? Or do we just deal with two of them? How many hemp are coming out of here first year? Let's think about that way. You, first year we're going to have two hemp. Two of everything, first year. So we don't necessarily have to have a lot of hemp coming out of this first time. So if we follow out this field and this field and leave it the full cycle of all four and just depend on hemp from the other side for a while. What's our money? 420? Hemp means money. Hemp means clothing sales. Clothing doesn't show up in here, does it? No. Okay. Hmm. Because we don't have any. We haven't run the, the this for a long time. The, uh, where are you? Right over here. The weavers and all that. It's been... We can turn that back on. We've got a little bit of hemp. I forgot about that. We've got 10 hemp. You have been getting some of it. Yeah, let's get at least one lady in here. Uh, the weavers take the hemp right there. So pop in one lady there and well two ladies there and then one here at the tailor. Not for quite a while though. It's going to be a while before we get any textile built up. Okay, so two ladies in there which is going to make it tough to get we're going to have to shut everything down to get the, the farming done this year. We don't have enough extra houses to make up for a whole farm. But we'll get this going for right now. Okay, so they're going to be running across the street to grab hemp out of there and fill this all up. I'm still going slow. I still have time to figure this out. Okay, so I think we will then keep our two fallows as the full cycle because it just worked out really good. This right here, the full cycle can start right now. So that's three sets that have hemp in it. Three sets that won't have hemp in it. So really, it comes down to what's happening in field three. These guys are set. And this could be the same pattern as that. But that puts fallow in the same spot all the way through. Which is kind of what it needs. But it's not what we want ultimately. Okay. So let's fallow in second position this time. And you're going to be... Potato. That gives us two rounds of potato this time. That's all it's going to be. Okay, two rounds of potato. So potato fallow, wheat potato. That's the same pattern repeated three times in different orders. Gives us two fallows in that slot. Gives us one fallow in the fourth slot. Gives us two fallows in the first slot and one uh, fallow in the second slot. That's about as balanced as I can make it. And it should work out nutrient wise. Okay. I don't know if all of you followed that. I, I was going to do this all off camera and just have it ready to go and then we kick the speed up and start building things but you know this there's enough new players that have uh, have written in and, and talked to me that kind of wanted to show that process so I hope you kind of follow the math behind it you know, it really comes down to what the plowing actually does add I seem to remember 18 but I'm not sure so what we need to do is check that we've field one we've got 61 percent when the plowing is done what is the percent in of red It'll be the same across the board, the same um, additional percentage. That should go to 79% if it's 18 when the plowing is finished. Okay, so well, I want to try to remember to look at that too. If I miss it, 61, 51, and 49. 61, 51, 49. There's three chances of, of remembering to come back and look at that. Let's kick the speed up. And is there anything else to be thinking about right now? We could employ all three of these, all four of these, and just get as much hemp converted over as possible until the field is ready to, uh, the farm is ready to employ. That makes sense. And I want to get a second worker in there. Boy, that went quick. I don't want to get one that quick. Over here, um, here. She jumped out of that job, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get the second worker into this position so that one person can be plowing where the other person is on break and then they swap out. But instantly she wanted that job. Why? That's only 100% for that job. It's down here for laborers. You switched back to... No, 120. What was I in? This one? I must have been in that one. Yeah, okay. So this one, 
The regular job is only 100. It's the laborers that where we need the boost. So we're starting to thaw. We get to just about the end of February, we'll try to put a second person into here. Right now, though, in here, we still only have the one. Yeah, that's a shame. I was hoping to get a burst of, of hemp going. But they seem to use the textile much faster. Make you know, make use of it much, much faster than they uh, produce it. So uh, three to one, and I still run out of, of textile, it seems like, before the hemp runs out. Okay, We're almost there. At which time, fish in the economy is down there at 15. We've got plenty. And is that storing or counting fish for message from, okay? And fish... 10. So there's our 15. Okay. Messenger from there. Slow it down so I can think. And who is there? You are these guys who wants to buy our shoes. And you want to sell us dried fish. We could try that one more time. I hate to get that down so low, but if we sell it for more than we buy it, I wish I knew that answer. Let's try this again. Dried fish, we're going to go back to 10. We're going to buy 100. Deal. And this time we're going to immediately attempt where am I? There I am. To employ somebody here. Hate to do it so early because they have a long drive to go, but you can see how long it takes to get somebody over here. You're set at 120%. So that should get somebody there, and we're just going to leave you there as insurance. I don't remember the world map here. So that takes us out to here, too. Hmm. Um. So nothing has changed there. 17 more days is available, but the trip is 16 days long. So we're probably 15 days yet for that to arrive, and you're not employed yet. Okay. So over here, we're basically there. Let's hire, and let's max out this instead of the other, and see if they want to be workers more than they want to be laborers. I don't know if there is an emphasis on one over the other. I would think the paycheck is the main emphasis, but I don't know that. I know we are having trouble getting people into here, and we're having trouble getting people into here. We're going to do that. Gonna max out five and five. And we're going to start eliminating other jobs right now, just to make sure that we get everything planted. Actually, you're going there. You guys are going away. Let's get this system, this cycle going. We don't need you right now. We don't need you guys. We don't need you and that is there over here I try shutting up the markets in an episode way early in this this uh, series and I paid for that one it, uh, they did not like that we're shutting you down we're gonna get everybody out there working everybody that we can even you guys you're fine we got lots of supplies over here all right weavers you guys are done over here you're done there Sunflower. There's lots of sunflower available, right? And that is money in the bag. Yeah, we'll leave you. Otherwise, over here, that supplies the sunflower. I think we'll leave you. Otherwise, we don't touch the cow sheds, and we still have people... We don't. We still have plenty of hay, though. I wanted to make sure there was hay and water stored, so that if we do lose someone, because it's, there's so few houses out here, that we won't immediately start losing livestock, and that's fine. Take four cows a long time to, to eat those. Are the cows out yet? No, that probably happens, well, in March, so we're going slow right now. There'll be a worker at some point that'll haul them out of there. Um, continuing to shut people down. Farms are five workers, but actually there's nothing for them to do right now until that one goes in. But, well, how are you guys doing? You guys can start immediately. And nobody is being called. Hmm. Let's take you down to about there. See if you guys will jump over here. And I'm going to have to... It's so far away from housing. I can see the, the possibility. I'm going to need to really sweeten the deal to get you guys to go over there. Yeah, that was it. Do I need to sweeten it that much? Let's go to 130. Got a budget to think about here. Did somebody jump into this job? You might have, and I just sweetened the deal over there. I'm going to just... Well, you're at 120. Let's take you guys to... No, well, you just went away. I don't think I can unsweeten it anymore. But that can get this thing going. Field 1 can be started right now. Plowing is skipped on all of them. So we can go straight into sewing all of these. So it's just a, w a matter of waiting for all these people to wander in. But I'm not going to kick the speed up just yet till I've really made sure that I've got all the people available that I can. We don't need you working right now. 
Uh, shoemaker, yeah, well, leather, hides are there, not many left, but the hides are there. There's no hides in this one. No, we never got to hides and leather in the market warehouses. So you guys are nose, um, have I skipped anybody else? There's the cow parade. I was wondering when that was going to happen. So, within the first week of March, she is leading the alpha cow. <laughs> and all the others are following. Maybe that one's in heat. But we won't go there. And you're heading into here. And we need someone to get hired over here again. Alright, let's kick your, your wage up to like that. Get somebody in here so we can get the cow parade going over here. And we don't need a chicken parade, luckily. You are 30 out of 30. 10 eggs and lots of meat and somebody's being butchered right now. You are bringing wheat. Is there anybody else to lose their job? I did get somebody in here. Good. And over here we've got a full boat and all these positions are available. Let's limit you guys to 8. Just in case that is an issue over here. Otherwise, two are available, and as soon as that plowing is done... That's right, let's check this. So, we were at 61. Let's see if that suddenly jumps when the plowing finishes. I would think it would have come up gradually as the plowing happened, but apparently that wasn't the case. So you just finished. 76. So, 61, that's 15. Okay, so there's the answer. I, I was shooting 15 conservatively, and it worked. So, 15% bonus to for plowing. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's the end of the jobs to grab folks out. I'm not touching the markets. You could come out. Wheat. We have plenty of wheat now, and we have our four out of four firewood. So you're available to jump in to, to do these jobs. Hopefully it's this one right here. Though I'm not giving a boost to laborers over here. I am giving a boost to laborers over here, though. 120. So this should work out. Um, am I done? Grab you guys. And that should pretty much clean out the town. There. Still have somebody here. You guys are on your way? Nope, not coming up yet. Is that all the jobs? No, construction. Right there. Pause you guys. Click. There we go. If you move your mouse to just one pixel while you're clicking that, then it won't grab. There and there. There should be no reason now for anybody to be doing any job other than the whole town coming in to plant all these fields within the month of March. Click the speed up and let's watch the magic happen. So we filled this one. Nobody's getting into here, leaving some people to work through this one. Okay. And we'll set you at we'll set you at six. That should be more than enough. Actually, that's almost too many right now because we can only handle four here, or actually six here. And we have yeah we have one too many hired now. Six. So we set you to five. So one is over here, and the other five and one are over here. That's six. That's working. So as this is done, then we're available for twelve. But then. This, this should be almost finished with this one by then. So we're almost done sewing. So that should work out fine there. Over here, how are we doing? We've got our five. And all right, let's go ahead and take you to 120 and see if we can get somebody else popping in. There's somebody over there. Don't want to empty out of here though. All right, so there's our next field available. So we can fill these up just fine. You guys are at 100%. What if we did this? <clears throat> in case they prefer a permanent job versus look at that just maxed out and over here we're still doing okay that's a whole field's worth at a time okay that's gonna work so i just let them do their thing um no cart yet or cart sitting in here so let's take a look at our map you guys are almost here should see uh, suddenly materialize somewhere down that road See if I can aim that better. I think I see ya. Now, right there and sideways. Boy, it's hard to. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I got it lined up. So, he's on his way in. Otherwise, 
we are plowing field four, five. You. Why did that not work? Oh, that bugs me how it's how it does that. How these don't stay lined up. You're all active. Yep. Now, since nothing happened there, can I put you back into sync? So we're actually here, which didn't need to be followed. Let's take you, let's deactivate you, and then set you up for potato. It will let me. So potato fallow wheat potato. That gives us two fallows. Kind of. It's there, there, there. Yeah, that really that means I got three fallows next year all in the same place. I didn't want to do that. It does give us two wheats, gives us two potatoes right now and two fallows right now. Next year we're going to suffer a little bit on that. We're only going to have one potato, no, two potatoes, a hemp, and no wheat. But two fields of wheat should get us two years worth of use. I think so. Okay, well then we need to reactivate. So with that we should see the plow head back here now instead of... Oh, these two are supposed to be fallow. So hopefully somebody grabs a pow, uh, the plow and realizes that you know, I, I messed up. Good. So we're going to get this back into the group. So we still have plenty of people working over here. And it gives us all that we have been allowed. Because I've got five. Hmm, okay. And then over here, how are we doing? We've got still lots of folks over here. Uh, we're blowing through the uh, through the, the town. Oh, we're also selling things. That's probably part of it too. That's probably chipping away as they're unloading the dried fish which means we can get dried fish into here right there and we get dried fish out over here so now we've got something new dried fish is on its way to be selling so hopefully that hundred we spent on dried fish is going to come back to us in hopefully a, a larger quantity than the hundred you are still unloading a lot so we're going to be down in the well and down to the twos so with this bigger potato harvest coming in, which is how many? Two fields? We're, we're going to have to look at selling one field's worth next year. So that's the current year. Three fields worth coming in right now. Current year there, and then it shifts over to there for that one. And then over here for this one. Yeah, I'm all messed up. So this year we've actually got three potatoes, a fallow, a hemp, and a, a wheat. So at least we have a wheat. So next year... We have fallow, 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 wheat, fallow, and potato. It still works out, but this is going to be our banner year for potatoes. So this year, since we got somebody in here, let's go ahead and set up potatoes. Let's grab potato. There you are. And let's put in the first 20. In town is none right now, right? No, we still have 3.37. And if it's not in here... It is. 2.24 is in here. Hmm. Can I tell you not to grab from warehouses? I cannot. Okay. So we're just going to steal potatoes from the town and not have any. We'll be eating fish. A lot of fish. Until the first 20 gets hauled over here and the rest hit back that way. Okay. I think that's going to be fine and we'll be able to sell those potatoes at the end and recoup some of this. Put the same. No, two potato. That's not you guys, right? You're already off my map. You're already off my map. So I don't remember if you guys bought potatoes or not. Somebody here buys potatoes. All right, so with that, am I at 40 minutes? I think I am. So let's slow you down. And I think I'll record one more episode. We'll see how the harvest, or how the planting finishes. And kind of kind of make sure everything is well balanced and figured out and get a few more of these. We'll get everybody reemployed again and get some more construction going next episode. And then I'll probably put things on pause for a while till we get to episode or patch six. So Yveni was saying that um, that I think I mentioned this you know, several episodes back, but he's worked on a lot of things, but only the chickens got completed. He felt that we were, it was just taking too long to get that next patch out. Too many people were getting antsy. He was in the middle of a lot of changes, but had to get something out. 
So chose the chickens and got that finished and pushed this patch out. So there are other systems, including shipping and who knows what else he was he was playing with, that are partially to maybe even mostly uh, completed. That will be in the next patch. And he made the comment that that means patch six should come out a, you know, a lot sooner than patch five did. So in that case, it could be not long at all before I uh, pop out another batch of these things. But one more episode, I think, will do us, give us a good taste of Ostrov again, and then we'll, I'm going to get back into, into RimWorld and back into running my business at, uh, at uh, warp speed for a couple of months. So with that, I'm going to call this episode done. It's been Noble Rambler, and thanks, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.